X-rays and crystalline structures. This is the area I am going to look into. This is one of the most interesting area. I love it. Let's start. Here is the index. I am going to talk about the X-rays and crystal structures. Followed by Bragg's equation, the significance of Bragg's equation and Bragg's spectrometer methods. These areas we are going to look into in detail. On the overall, this is how the X-ray pulse and X-rays are, how the X-ray is generated. And afterwards, this is how the usage of X-rays. It is used in many different areas. I am going to show you how X-rays are used. So, X-ray diffraction is one of the major technological area which is used in medical field. Let's discuss on this. Let's start. X-rays. X-rays are electromagnetic waves of very short wavelength. The wave nature of X-rays is not confirmed by diffraction experiment. Because a grating of about 40 million ruling per centimeter is required for diffraction experiments. The preparation of such kind of grating is really impossible. At the same time, crystallographers believe that the atoms in crystal are regularly arranged with an interatomic distance of about 10 power minus 8 centimeter. The wavelength of X-rays is also in the order of 10 power minus 8 centimeter. So, based on this law, the great scientist suggested that the crystal can be used as a three-dimensional diffraction grating for X-rays. We are able to see the X-rays are passing and it is placed on the zinc sulfide crystal. We are able to see the diffracted beams. This suggestion is carefully carried out successfully by law in his experiment using zinc sulfide crystal. So, the photograph obtained is known as law diffraction pattern. 